Hi everyone, my name is Arya Vatanabadi and I'm a fourth year student in the software engineering program at Western University. I picked this school because I'm an extrovert personally and Western has a really big focus on being social and making friends, so it was really a great match with my personality. In terms of the program, uh, first year engineering at Western is general engineering and then you, you get to try all the different disciplines and select the one that you want. I always knew that I wanted software, but it was still a little bit competitive to get into software. So the teaching styles in engineering involve a lot of uh, labs and assignments where you have to apply the things you've, you've learned. And a lot of the upper year courses, they also involve a lot of self-teaching as well. The workload is pretty intense. You'll find yourself regularly taking more courses and having more assignments per semester than some of your friends in other programs. I would say in order to be successful, you need to really believe in your own ability to solve problems and manage your time because this program will keep you very busy. So my grade to get into the engineering program was around 92% in high school and my grade in first year to get into the software program was around 75%. So I would suggest aiming around there. I would also suggest focusing more on getting good grades in high school than doing extracurriculars because for engineering they're more concerned about whether you're academically capable of handling the, the courses that they're going to throw at you. So I'm hoping to take the skills I've learned and start various startups working on projects that I'm passionate about. For me this involves game development and web programming because these are my two favorite branches of development. In terms of what's possible with this degree, pretty much anything involving writing code. You could become a web developer, mobile developer, data scientist, game developer, really anything you want as long as it involves writing code. Throughout this program though, you should definitely try to get co-ops every summer. You may not be able to get one every summer, but you should still try because this is what will really help you get a job after graduation, not your marks. But don't expect it to be easy. For example, this last summer, I sent over 80 applications and only managed to get one job offer. My tip is to network and try to meet recruiters personally and apply through them instead of applying to job boards online where you're just another number. Most of the courses that we take in software engineering is actually mandatory, so you don't have a lot of leeway in picking your own courses. But I will say, if you're interested in software engineering, it will help you immensely to take a computer science class in high school, or at the very least, try to teach yourself a programming language on YouTube before you start. This will put you way ahead of the curve and set you up for success very nicely. So, there isn't much memorization in this program as there is application, so I definitely would suggest doing all the practice problems for your courses like calculus and chemistry, and definitely do the assignments for your programming courses because these will fundamentally teach you how to apply the different concepts you're going to learn, and they'll set you up very nicely to do well on the exams. So I lived on residence in first year and I loved it. I got to make a lot of friends early on, and I also made a few lifelong friends who I later lived with or worked on cool projects with, or both. Um, clubs can also be a really great way to make friends and to do or learn something really cool. The only advice I'll give is that this program keeps you quite busy as is, so be careful with which or how many clubs you decide to get involved in because you're going to be quite busy just with your schoolwork. If you're not living on campus or getting involved in clubs, I would suggest just sitting next to somebody in class and introducing yourself instead of sitting alone because this program can, can really be quite challenging sometimes and it's, it's really invaluable to have friends in the same program where you can all just help each other out. So Western has a lot of support resources available to students. The ones that I'm familiar with through my own experiences and what my friends have told me are the mental health and academic counselors. All students have access to these counselors and they can help you with any issues you're facing either academically or regarding your mental health. So if you ever feel like you're just too much on your plate or one of your classes is not going very well, you can go talk to any of these counselors and they'll do their best to help you out. They have your best interest in mind always. So I have two pieces of advice that I would give to anybody starting in this program. Number one is don't sweat the small stuff. Don't, don't obsess over your grades and don't freak out if you fail an assignment or midterm. These things can happen from time to time and no matter what happens, in the end you'll still graduate if you're determined to. 
So try not to worry about marks too much. Just do, do your best and that's all you really have to do. In terms of my second advice, I would say put yourself out there. Go to social events on weekends or after class. Make sure you're having fun because that's the best part of university. It's meant to be a fun and experimental period of your life. So just try new things, make new friends, and just try to enjoy the process. So if you're planning on starting in a software engineering program, good luck, and I hope you love it as much as I have.